When building tension, video games are defined by the threats thrown at the player. Some threats are more vicious, while others are tough to kill, or just plain invincible. Combine these traits together and let loose an entity that hounds the player, cultivating an atmosphere of fear over where it could strike next, and you've created an effective stalker. Let's take a look at the scariest stalkers in video games. Xenomorph Alien Isolation Alien Isolation's intelligent, menacing, and nigh-invulnerable Xenomorph is one of the more renowned stalkers in recent times. It can sense when you're using the motion tracker nearby, will investigate any strange occurrences or noises made, and pounce on you when you least expect it. It even travels through the air ducts, making it all the harder to discern where it could be coming from. Yes, it's scared of fire, but limited flamethrower ammo means it won't be long before it returns. Mr. X, Resident Evil 2. He's truly looking to give it to you. Mr. X is one of the cooler additions to Resident Evil 2's reimagined Raccoon City, popping up and relentlessly pursuing you without any care for your well-being or sanity. He eats bullets, strides with purpose, and shoves any lesser enemies out of the way to pummel your face. But most important of all, Mr. X had a dapper fashion sense with his fedora and trench coat. Nemesis, Resident Evil 3. One of the old-school stalker foes that still remains relevant, Nemesis is terrifying in so many different ways. Formed from infecting the T-103 Tyrant with the Nemesis Parasite, he appears throughout Resident Evil 3, wielding a rocket launcher and hunting STARS members. Nemesis just never gives up, no matter how many times you put him down or how much pain is inflicted. In the end, it takes a freaking experimental railgun to put him down. Gatherers, Amnesia, The Dark Descent Frictional Games' Amnesia The Dark Descent starts off in a disorienting fashion since the main character has lost his memories. It all feels so surreal, but something that becomes very real and terrifying very quickly are the gatherers. These floppy-skinned things can suddenly appear at a moment's notice, moving from a general stumble to lightning quick in the blink of an eye, even breaking down doors to get to you. The best part? They become more frequent as you delve further into the story. The Ink Demon, Bendy and the Ink Machine Bendy is kind of a cute, cartoonish, Steamboat Willie-esque character when you first start the game. The Ink Demon is a nightmarish entity that relentlessly pursues you and happens to take on Bendy's form. Sure, there are other monstrosities roaming the halls of Joey Drew Studios, the near-endless splotches of ink an unsettling substitute for gore, but the Ink Demon is simply the worst. Pyramid Head, Silent Hill 2. Would Silent Hill 2 have been half as iconic without old Triangle Face's appearances? It's a pretty disturbing game in its own right, but the multifaceted Pyramid Head, abusing punishing protagonist James Sunderland the next, ties it all together. Whether it's the telltale sound of his oversized cleaver being dragged around or his penchant for murder, Pyramid Head is perhaps the scariest of all the stalkers. SAX, Metroid Fusion. Created by mimicking Samus Aran's power suit at its full power, the SAX is an overwhelming opponent. It possesses abilities like the Ice Beam, Power Bomb, and Screw Attack, so most of the game is spent either running from it or hiding until it goes away. Even with many of her abilities regained and with numerous health upgrades, defeating the SAX is one of the greatest challenges facing Samus in Metroid Fusion. Hunter, Dead Space What's worse than a stalker that can't be killed? A stalker that's constantly regenerating, no matter how many times you dismember it. Dead Space's hunter may be slow, but it can regenerate its limbs very quickly. Dismembering its legs, slowing the regeneration with stasis, and generally hightailing it are good strategies for dealing with the hunter. But he's only gone for good when incinerated from the ignition of a shuttle engine. Reborn Laura, The Evil Within a product of rage, reborn Laura possesses four limbs with claws and horribly burned flesh. She can teleport, possesses incredible speed, can only be damaged with special bullets or fire, and is very good at immediately crushing Sebastian's head to a pulp. She can also emerge from any corpse, so watch your back and run like hell accordingly. Slenderman, Slender the Eight Pages 
This freeware game was built to showcase the full terror of the memish Slender Man. He's tall, wears a fetching suit, and causes your screen to distort before presumably committing bloody murder. Though the production values didn't compare to the best horror titles at the time, Slender still succeeded in making its antagonist a frightening creature by simple virtue of him standing around. The Killers, Dead by Daylight Dead by Daylight is an asymmetrical multiplayer game about a team of survivors running from a killer. So if you're on the survivor team, you must outwit the killer, assist fellow survivors, and find an escape route before it's too late. Your mileage may vary with regards to the scariness of some of the killers, but seeing the likes of Leatherface or Michael Myers chasing you down, or the spirit who can go invisible and seemingly pop up anywhere, it's stressful for sure. Anima, The Evil Within 2 Clearly inspired by Guillermo del Toro's Mama, Anima's presence is signaled by fog and a drop in temperature. She sings, stalks the realm of Union in a twisted manner, and seemingly has no other purpose except torturing a randomly selected target, in this case, Sebastian. Much like Laura, Anima can manifest anywhere and can't be defeated by traditional means, but hey, at least she eventually goes away. Stalkers, Dead Space 2 Hearing the guttural noises of the stalkers is never a good sign in Dead Space 2. Once they spot Isaac, they'll charge from out of cover, attempt to outflank them and they'll simply scamper away. Though not indestructible, they're immune to beheading and frighteningly fast. It's amazing how despite not being the most physically imposing, the stalkers are easily some of the most dread-inducing enemies to face in Dead Space. Scissorman, Clock Tower the Clock Tower series has seen a number of incarnations of the Scissor Man, but the original will always be Bobby Barrows. His debut in Clock Tower The First Fear was perfect as he constantly pursued Jennifer, even giggling to himself before pouncing on her. And if you don't get the right ending, Bobby could emerge again to kill Jennifer for good. Damn it, Bobby! Alma. Fear. Though Alma probably isn't as prevalent as some of the other stalkers on this list, her presence can be felt almost everywhere in fear. Whether it's suddenly appearing as you climb down a ladder or butchering a squad of soldiers before you arrive, her childlike form shouldn't be underestimated. Don't even get us started on the ending of fear or the madness she pulls in fear too. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, please hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to switch on the notifications bell icon next to it. That way you'll never miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.